this is about the Meyer HD1 uh, studio monitors. They were, a, uh, I remember it was uh, at Techcom, so this was late 80s. They had brought them in for us to listen to. Had an 8-inch woofer, a tweeter, a pretty heavy monitor, and uh, they, they were powered, and they were telling us, nobody can blow these things up. They're calibrated, and uh, you can play them as loud as you want, and everything is fine. And I remember I gave them to, I think it was to Jazzy Jeff. He took them for a day, and he brought them back, and he blew them up already. So uh, that whole the thing about them not blowing up, um, it didn't, didn't hold water. But they, they're great monitors. I remember uh, Steely Dan used them a lot. Uh, when I got rid of all of Walter Becker's uh, studio gear, there were two pair of HD1 monitors I had to sell uh, for him. One thing about HD1 monitors, if you do have a pair, if you're going to ship them, you need to get the boxes from Meyer because they're not only are, are they specially made for those speakers, but they have a uh, sensor in the box to see if they were hit a uh, hard. Because if they're not in those boxes and that, um, and they're, they're hit, uh, the, the woofers are so heavy, it'll rip right out of the, the, um, the cabinet. And I learned the hard work, the hard way because I sent a pair to a client. And uh, when he sent them back to me and he just wrapped them up in just a regular box, the whole the woofers were all just ripped out of the out of the cabinets. And um, I had to see about getting them repaired. And I called up Meyer and the only way to repair those speakers, because they won't send you any parts, you have to sh buy the boxes that they, they tell you to get. You have to ship them back to Meyer. They have to put all the new parts in there and then they recalibrate them and they ship them back to you. And I think that whole deal was something like $800 or $1,000. So it, it wasn't cheap, um, but they're very, uh, uh, they're very strict about the tolerance of that speaker. So that's, I thought, Maybe if people didn't know about the HD ones, that's that's the deal with them. Great speakers, but um, you have to be very careful with them.